In this video, we're going to be looking at cross price elasticity of demand. It's also known as XED. So what is it? It measures how sensitive the demand for product A is to a change in the price of another product, product B. Okay, so this here is the formula. So the percentage change of the quantity demanded for good A all over the percentage change of the price for good B. Okay, so here is an example of how to work it out. So in this example, we are talking Xboxes. So if the Xbox increases in price, let's say from £400 to £450, okay, and then we see Xbox games as a result, they demand, the demand for these games fall from 50 million to 40 million. Okay, this is how we work out the XED. So 400 to 450 for the price is an increase in price of 12.5%. 50 million that's gone down to 40 million in sales is a decrease in sales of 20%. So this is how we put it into the equation. So minus 20 for quantity of the games at the top, minus 20%, all over the positive 12.5% uh, in the price. And therefore you'd get the XED. If you work that out, you will get minus 1.6. Okay. So once you've got the figure, what does the XED actually mean? What does it mean? So, there's two things you need to focus on. First of all, it's the sign, so positive or negative, and then you've got to look at if it's above one or between zero and one. So first of all, if the sign is positive, it tells us it's a substitute good. If the XED is negative, it tells us it's a complementary good. If the XED is above one, it tells us it's elastic, so it's a strong uh, good. I'll, show, I'll tell you what that means in a minute. If it's XED is between 0 and 1, it's inelastic, so it's going to be weak. And if XED is 0, then it's going to be no relationship. Okay, there's no relationship between the two goods. So let's apply that with this one here. So minus 1.6. So it's minus, okay, which means it's a complement. Okay, so it's going to be a complement because of the minus. And have a look at the one there is 1.6 that's above one okay so therefore it's a strong complement okay so it's minus and then it's above one so it's above one all right one minute above one so therefore it is a strong complement okay so if we had let's say if that was positive and it was 0 0.25 what would that be well positive it would be a substitute and because it's between 0 and 1 0 0.25 it would be weak. So that is a, this one would be a complement because it's plus, but it's because it's between zero and one, it would be a weak complement. Hopefully that makes sense. And now you can interpret the figures. Any questions, just leave them down below.